Welcome to the trap as we all run back, back, lit is we out of here, out of here. Any man battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out again, D out of here, man. Put it on your YouTube. Shout out to the trappers. We are back. This the out of any man about a rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. All right, so by now, you probably already saw the viral video of Gunplay wilding out yet again at a nightclub over a 50 cent song being played. Now, there's more to the story, but if you haven't seen the video, I'm going to put the link to the full video in the comments. And I'm going to try to give you a little snippet that might not mess up my monetization. Check this out. Why would you play that? Why would you play that? Alright now, because of his past and all that, people automatically think Gunplay was just wilding out, but he does have his own side to the story. He took to his Instagram to explain what happened. He says, July 18th, 2023, my wife threw me a birthday party surprising me with my brother Rick Ross and MMG family. A custom red ruby Rolex made by Frankie Diamonds and a live performance by upcoming artist Zoe Brinks. After the birthday party, we decided to celebrate my 44th at G5 Miami. When we first arrived, it was all love. After the bottle girls brought out our bottles and ones, DJ Juice started to shout me out for my birthday and started to play Many Men by 50 Cent. At this point, I just vibed out and let it play. DJ Juice decided to shout my name out once more and play I Smell Poo. At this point, I felt disrespected and tried. How I reacted is clear in the video. I never once intentionally pushed my wife or wanted to cause her harm. The clip that went viral was the end of the altercation. I didn't know who was touching me and wanted them off. G5 owner Rick Taylor has not only extended an apology, DJ Juice was fired and not paid for the set. I apologize to the innocent bystanders who were threatened in my moment of rage. I love my wife and my fans. And he wrote that with the caption that says, to my fans and wife, I apologize. Apologize and love, y'all. And then he tagged Discord Kids and G5 Miami. Thank you for all the love and support. Now, when you add context to it, I definitely feel what he's saying. I don't know what that DJ was doing, who paid him to do that or whatever, but those specific two songs really would set me off, too. First, you play Many Men, which is a song about haters, and the video actually features 50 Cent getting shot and enemies and all that type of topics. And then you got I Smell P Word. Come on, dog. That's a complete violation. We all know that MMG and G Unit had situations and all that. We all know that Gunplay was involved in an altercation with those guys before. Now, the only thing I think Gunplay did wrong was make a scene before he got to put hands on the man because he should have got all the way close to the DJ booth and then showed how actual mad he but was. The dude deserved everything he got coming. It's just bad that Gunplay had to go viral looking like an asshole again to get his point across. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, though. It's Battle Rap Trap. We got the streets. Shout out to the trap as we all uh, run back, back, lit. It's the out of here, out of here. Any man battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out again, man. D out of here, man. Put it on your.